broke my programming line out of the frame. I'm holding it here. Maybe that'll help. I can't put some filters on this guy and make it look a little bit better. We need to take one of these very, very tiny wires. I assume a Dexcom G7 is probably like a constant glucose monitor, would be my guess, given our constant uh, fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, glucose monitor, I thought so. <clears throat> fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, I mean, obvious. And, uh,. 3D model the thing with your material thickness because especially if you're going to do boxes you tend to use finger joints or bolt joints or anything like that where your material thickness makes a big difference. If you got a quarter inch thick material and your fingers only overlap by an eighth of an inch then obviously you're going to connect it to that pin right there which you can't really see much but I swear it's there. nicely. Tiny, tiny wire, right? I think this is something... better I think it does look like it's a bit out of focus though it's like the most fundamental thing I have for this project which is a little silly but sometimes that's just how it goes sorry for blocking your view chip fault but I try not to blame the components because they tend to be more reliable than me so up with really weird wonky looking edges but um yeah maker case is uh one of a couple of different options <clears throat> but um there's a couple of really fun tools for that um and there was another one let's see if i can like electronics boxes or hinges or keypads etc 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 that one's probably the better one for you if you're trying to do something weird um, can sculpt though and make flat packaging meshes well the nice thing is is 
a the three D modeling only needs to be as complex, I'm like forty gauge, if I remember correctly. It's silly, silly thin. And using it without magnification is possible, but it's difficult. Find it here. Um, this one, I think, was the one. The other one. This one's Python based, but yeah, that one allows you to actually do really complicated shapes. Um, I should probably check for that short before I go at everything. Um, I don't know if maybe you missed my question or you're an idiot. Uh, did I miss a question from the end? Some short there. The next likely uh, candidate is that the chip itself is holding it under reset because of some error state. Um. Question Mossman, I want to design a laser file for a box and don't know where to start. Um, hold, please. All right. Fine. Board's still nice and secure, so. Let's unplug our programming header because now nothing wrong with that laser is awesome in that way because it, it's harder to do that with CAD files because for like 3d printing rather because usually you get STLs which are kind of like a picture of the outside of the model and you have no other information and it's an approximation a triangular net wrapped around that object but with laser cutters you have basically the design files right there Right, it's a DXF or SVG or something of that nature, which is already in itself editable. So if there's something that has what you want, that's kind of close, make it happen. Um, <clears throat> my big suggestion, I'm gonna work with this stuff again. You know, I had this spool for years and didn't use it at all. It was one of those things I bought and I told myself, oh, it'll be useful eventually. And then like, eh, it probably won't be. I probably won't need it. And now, and would be, because like, there's kind of the two ways that you can go about doing laser cut files, right? There is the version where you go into something like Inkscape or whatever, and you draw it as a flat pattern. And then in your head, you try and put all your pieces together and make sure they work. Or what you could do is go into a 3D modeling software, some kind of CAD package, like, Absolutely easy. And so long as I don't have to do it through QMK, I think I'll actually do okay. <laughs> after after our rant last week. Why 
fine. That's nice. That's always what you want. Ugh. That's irritating. Okay. Let's put this back in the frame then and... There, there, so I will say there is 